A new film capturing the queen of soul. Her launch to stardom and her legendary mark on Motown is bringing stars to Detroit. Aretha Franklin's family and friends attended a screening for respect in Royal Oak over the weekend. Our own Carolyn Clifford joins us now with their reaction to this film. And Carolyn, there was a lot of hype leading up to this movie. Well deserved too, Alan. After years and years of talking about it, the family of Aretha Franklin thrilled the story they wanted shown on the big screen about the Queen of Soul's life and starring Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson was finally shown. I was there at the Imagine Theater in Royal Oak as Metro Detroit was all about love for the Queen. Respect. The movie about the Queen of Soul's life was shown exclusively in a star-studded event at the Imagine Theater in Royal Oak for family and friends only. They rolled out the red carpet. Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson, who portrays the queen, was gorgeous in this red gown. What does it feel like to be hand selected to play the queen of soul? She meant so much to Detroit. And you mean so much to Detroit. Wow. Thank you. It means everything to me. I mean, it was also my dream to play her. So I have that upon her saying Jennifer play me. It's like, it's exciting, but it makes it scary at the same time because you know what who you're representing. Aretha, a powerhouse in the civil rights movement with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. being celebrated by dignitaries, her longtime hairstylist, close friends and family all here to say hail to the queen's life. What do you think Aretha would have thought of today? Oh, she'd be so happy. She'd just be excited and looking forward to seeing everybody. I think she would have really um, appreciated the adaptations of her family members. And I just wish Aretha were here to see it. Um, this is the day she's been waiting for for years, and she would have loved it. World-renowned photographer Linda Solomon, who created this book of photos on Aretha's life on the red carpet, snapping photos and happy. One of the last photos with Aretha, her sisters and cousin, was featured in the film. To be able to share that photograph with the audience that will see the movie Respect is just a, a huge thrill for me. The movie, written and directed by two African-American women. I told them that it should start in the church and end in the church. I told them that it should be the story of a woman with a, the greatest voice on earth. I sat down with the matriarch of the Franklin family who performed with Aretha, relieved the real story is being told. My feeling is, is that they show the real Aretha. I watched the movie. It was fantastic. Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker, exceptional as Aretha's father. Mary J. Blige making a cameo as Diana Washington. And Marlon Wayans marvelous as Teddy White, Aretha's first husband. You want everybody to come out and see it? Certainly worth that ticket. The movie will hit theaters for all to see on August 13th. You will not be disappointed. Just amazing. Aretha's grandkids and sons were there as well last night. Just uh, amazing. An amazing movie. I know you're going to want to see it, Glenda and Alan. Yeah, great piece of history. Mm -hmm. All right, Carolyn, thank you so much.